Well, I'm glad you could join us. We are at Infineon Raceway on a beautiful sunny day. And luckily for us, we have Steve Page, who happens to be president and general manager of Infineon. Nice to see you again, Steve. Well, welcome. It's, uh, we're delighted to have you out here. Now, we were here, uh, I think, two or three years ago. I can't remember exactly when it was. Has racing changed? Uh, is it changing? Racing is always evolving. The technology is always evolving. The, the kinds of series that are available. But, you know, our staples here, NASCAR, IndyCar, NHRA, uh, are still the same. But uh, we're always looking at new things. We're actually introducing a new series next year called the World Touring Cars. That It's a series that runs all over the world but has never been in the United States. Uh -huh. and they're and what kind of cars are running that? They're production-based cars, BMWs, Fords, Modified. Chevys. Uh, modified with race equipment, but you could look at them and uh, recognize the BMW you might see running down the highway in one on, on 101 in Marin County. Uh, and some of those have been modified. Yes, they are. They are frequently modified. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, I think that kind of race is uh, interesting uh, to the general public. I know I like seeing that because say, I used to own one of those, or I own one of those, exactly. even though underneath yeah, the chassis and the motor and everything else is a race car and the body has been dropped on there, bolted on. Pretty much that's the way it is, isn't it? It is. Uh, and the great thing is if you are, are someone who gets frustrated on the highway and just has to sort of hold things under, you can watch these guys really go after it and do the things on the racetrack that you might Don't wish you could do. Don't encourage anybody. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, we encourage people to come and yeah, see come it happen here. on the track. Yeah, yeah. take it don't, out here don't do and it watching. Yourself. Or yeah. take one of the great courses we yeah, have but here. But look, you know this. People who drive certain cars are the ones when you're driving down the freeway maintaining a nice 55 or 65 whatever it is maybe 70 speed limit and they're going 130 you know that's uh you do see that here you see it more in europe i think i've always learned when i travel in europe when you're in the left lane and you see a bmw in your uh your uh -huh. rearview mirror, you move over very quickly. Or you see it and then it's gone. Yes. Is that right in yeah. front of you? <laughs> That's right. The, how about the crowds? Are they holding up for stuff and events here? Because a lot of people have been hit in the entertainment business, which yeah. this is. We, we have, uh, you know, we saw the hit from the economic problems the last few years. And, and actually, I hope that we're a bellwether because this was the first year since, I think, 2008 where we actually saw increases in all uh -huh. of our major spectator events. So it's... It's reversed the trend line, hopefully, and the feedback I hear from people in the hospitality and the winery business here, I think maybe the ice is breaking a little bit on our yeah. our uh, soft economy. Yeah, a, a slow move upward. Well, it's true of other sports, too. I mean, it, particularly if you go to a sport and you take your wife or maybe a, a son or a daughter or whatever, it costs. It does. I mean, people will think twice about it if they're worried about, you know, what's going to happen next uh, for dinner. Well, it costs, costs to get in, and then you've got all the ancillary you've costs. you got the extra stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the drivers that you get are from all over the world? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know, even series like NASCAR, which you yeah. traditionally associate with good old boys from the south, we've got guys from, uh, you know, one of the... The guy who almost won our race last year is from Tasmania. Um, from Tasmania? Yeah. No, so we've, uh, right. we've got Aussies. I didn't know they had race drivers in Tasmania. Oh, they do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've had um, literally people from all over the world, and when we bring the touring cars in next year, you'll yeah. see a real international collection. Okay. Well, the other thing is doing, you've got the North Bay Science Festival here, too. Absolutely. This is yeah, something that's November 5. Very right? excited but, about. We're going to... It's a really unique opportunity for us to bring some people out who may not have ever been to the track. Yeah, well, it also gets you part of the community that uh, you're a part of it already, but a little added extra something, you know. That's a very bring important. the kids, right? Absolutely, it's very right. important. Steve, always good to see you. Steve Page has been our guest, and he is president and general manager, and I think he's very happy about that, by the way. Uh, Benfinion Raceway, thank you very much for joining us.